Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're going to check out how to install and run flat packs on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Today we're going to talk about how to install flat packs on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS and also decide if you want to keep snaps on your system or maybe remove them. The beauty of having snaps or flat packs on your LTS Ubuntu install is that they can be updated while LTS is still on a slower schedule. It, it's, it updates itself separate from the rest of your operating system. So it gives you some options with certain applications to keep them updated that might work good for you, specifically some third-party applications that you might use. I do want to walk through also if you decide you want to remove snaps from your Ubuntu system. I will walk through how to do that. This is a personal preference and a personal choice, but I will walk through the differences, why you may want to install flat packs and why you may want to keep snaps or remove them. Basically for me and how I like to use my system, I love the sandbox way that snaps, flat packs and app images are used on Linux systems, I think is brilliant. Between snaps and flat packs, there's two main differences. One is snaps are essentially auto updated, okay? They're always updated and you may like that feature and you may feel like that's fine. Um, and that's not necessarily the case with flat packs. Flat packs, you can choose when or if you want to update them. Snap packs, you don't really get that choice. So that's something to note. Both of them are larger install packages because everything that's needed for the application is essentially sandboxed, which gives you the beauty of it being distro agnostic. It doesn't care what distro it's on. It's just able to run on its own, update on its own. And that's the beauty of it, which is great for something if you're gonna use an LTS or well, most distributions, it really gives some flexibility there. What we're going to do is we're going to move over. Yesterday, I did a walkthrough of Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So we're going to walk through together. We'll start by installing flat packs. And I will also then show you if you choose to remove snaps, is it harmful to have both on your system? No, but it kind of gets messy. I would suggest you choose one or the other, but it doesn't mean they can't run side by side because they can't. Okay, uh, also of note, snaps tend to run slower up front and you should know that too if that matters to you. So I'm gonna switch over to the virtual machine that's running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. And now what we're going to do is we are going to run through some pieces here and walk you through step by step. This does mean you will need to be able to use the terminal. These are things that's easily something you can search for yourself on the internet if you prefer to see a step-by-step, -step, but also you may be curious to see what does it look like when I do this? How does it work? And so I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like. We will go ahead and get that going. So first what I'm going to do is I am going to open up. So we've got Q-Terminal pulled up. We're going to make sure the system is updated first. This is just a good choice to do, sudo apt update, if I can spell update, and, 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 sudo apt upgrade. Okay, now I enter in my password. Now it's checking. All right, didn't need to update, no problem. Now we're going to install Flatpak, sudo apt install Flatpak, Flatpak, and why? Next step, all right. Then we've added that repo. And now we'll just see what we can see. Flat pack is installed. Now we've got it. So there's going to be two ways for us to install flat packs. What I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that I do this and then I'll show you, I'll show you the way I do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you the way I do it. It'll be easy enough for someone who isn't used to just doing things in the terminal. But what I need to do is if I want to install Blender. Okay, so flat pack search Blender, you see the description in the application. Now we are going to install. So flat pack 
install blender and it says which one do you want to use i'm going to choose one do you want to install it yes i do thank you very much yes now it will install flat pack flat pack flat pack flat pack so one piece we need to ensure that we add real quick is the ability to see it in the gnome software application so we're going to install this plugin it was odd to me that when I installed the application, it didn't pop up in the applications list. It's right here. In fact, let me move my face to show you that it is here. That should let you know. See, it's right there. Blender is here. And this is the flat pack. Another thing that you can do that I just explored is installing the GNOME software piece, enabling the flat pack repo so that if you wanted to, for instance, just look for a flat pack um, and have that available. You could search for, for instance, we've been using Blender here. You can see this one is installed and that's the flat pack uh, version. And you can also see the dev package version and there's the snap version. So you have these applications. In fact, let me install the snap version. So I'm going to do a very unscientific way of checking this out. I'm going to start the snap. I'm going to start the flat pack. I tell you what, I will have top open and let's just get a sense of something here. And let's see if it populated both blenders here. So you have two blenders. This one is the flat pack and this one is the snap. Now remember, each one of these has their own advantages and they're both, you know, contained applications, okay? It's the same application, but in order for it to be a snap, it might need a different kind of resource or more of a resource than a flat pack. So I wouldn't use this as, well, flat packs are, are, don't run as much resources, so obviously it's the better version. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just, just seeing how quick they load up and just what they're using. I wouldn't say one's better than the other because one may or may not use more or less resources and they might use the exact same resources. I don't know. But I'm curious, so I'm gonna check it out. So here is the flat pack version. It is up and running and ready to go, which is cool, man. It is cool. Okay, we are sitting at 1.2 gigabytes. Um, that booted up really snappy. No problems there. I had clicked it once before, so I will do two clicks on this snap. Obviously, I mean, but it, what? That was like nothing. The initializing and ready to go and video editing and ready to go. And we are looking at one, you know, 1.3 gigabytes is being used in the system as a whole. So not much different between the two. And I bet if I click on the snap again, yeah, I mean, it just boosts right up after that. I mean, I don't know guys. I'm sure that there's some scientific way to see that one boots up quicker than the other. I've noticed the initial boot is uh, slower on a snap, but after that, when the system, system's uh, running, it's it's snappy enough for me, for sure. So I did want to just, you know, get a sense of that piece. Um, obviously, I don't want two installs of Blender. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this newly installed software center, which you can do too as well. You can install the GNOME software center if you prefer to do that. I also will show you how to install from FlatHub, which is one of the ways I like to do it. But I saw this and I got sidetracked and then I decided to see what it was like. Here we are, I can go to the installed tab here and I can find which one is which. This one is the FlatHub flat pack and you can see that this version is 656 megabytes. That is what is installed for the flat pack. And this is the snap and it is taking up 225 megabytes. So there is more stuff installed on the flat pack than the snap. And I'm sure there's a reason. Um, and if you want to add in the comments what that reason is, feel free to let us know. That's what I do see. 
Uh, one of the things that will happen with snaps, like I said, is a forced auto update, which flat packs you don't have to deal with. For this run and because of my comfortability, I will uninstall this snap. I also will be uninstalling Firefox the snap and I will also be removing snap from the system. And this is just for your knowledge to see what happens when you do it. As you can tell, if you wanna run snaps, you're probably like, I don't see much of a difference. I get it. So we'll do that in a second, but I, what I will do is we are gonna use our snap <laughs> Firefox and go to Flathub and install a Flatpak. So let's go to Flathub. We got the popular apps. So we can install Steam or Zoom or Minecraft or OBS Studio. But I just wanted you to see what's available here. Now I'm going to install Caden Live. When you install Caden Live through the dev package and within the operating system regular install process, you have to have a lot of dependencies to make that run. This doesn't require that kind of dependencies. There's a lot of the Qt uh, or Qt framework that Caden Live uses and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm, like I said, I'm on the flathub.org website and now I'm going to click install right here from the website. I'm gonna click install and I'm going to click it. It's loading it up. And now we're just going to run it here. It sent the link to the software center that I had installed and now it's installing that way. That was an extra piece that I don't deal with. Since I have this software center installed, you should see how that works. Okay, now we can hit open and it will run. There is Caden Live ready to go for you. Completely contained and updatable no matter what your system is doing. I love that. We've also seen how to install a flat pack through the command line. We've also seen how to install flat pack through the software center and going through Flathub and clicking that install link there. This next piece is a piece that you need to be aware of too. If you decide I like flat packs way better than snaps, you may not be able to, guys don't bend it to any pressure. I'm just showing you a couple options here that you can use. If you don't care, then don't worry about this guys. But if you are a person who's gotten comfortable with flat packs and you decide you don't like snaps, that's okay too. So we've seen how to install flat packs. We've seen that you can run them right beside snaps and dev packages. And now we're going to see how we can remove snap from our system completely. Now, first we're gonna to have to purge whatever snaps are here. And I know there is a Firefox snap. So just to make sure I'm gonna run a list here and I'm gonna see, and now we will do snap list. We're gonna to have to remove the snap store and we're gonna to have to remove Firefox, okay? We'll have to run these commands it's not hard, you just type stuff in, it's no big deal. Some of this probably makes sense. You know, sudo or sudo is just a way for you to get access to root stuff, admin, admin stuff, if that makes more sense to you. Snap is what we're working with. Remove means you wanna remove something. <laughs> Purge means get rid of everything. I don't want any files left behind and I want to remove and purge Firefox. Now it is disconnecting and removing everything that Firefox was in the snap world. Firefox is removed. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the snap store. Snap store. The other piece we're gonna to have to do is remove the, I guess it's the theme package. We have to remove that too. So we're gonna remove that theme package. That's one extra piece here. We had that list up there. So now it's removing that. Okay, now I gotta do it for all the rest of the themes. You'll have to do this once, guys. So I tried to remove and purge all of the rest of the packages I needed to remove at once. It's not letting me do it. So we will do it one at a time. Uh, I will do that quickly for you to see. So we'll remove that. That, we'll do that, we'll do that. <laughs> There's one more. There were two core elements here. There's core 18 as well. So before you can remove SnapD, you have to make sure all these packages that you had listed are gone before you can actually remove SnapD. I missed that core 18 and now Snap is completely removed from my system. Now I've got this software center piece here. 
I bet if I search Firefox, now I can grab Firefox through FlatHub and I will install it. And now it's installed. My Firefox is a flat pack and not snap. I'm only showing you this so that you can see how to do it, not that you need to do it. If you wanted to know how to install flat packs, you've seen how to, how to do that. I know this wasn't the most glamorous video, okay? But what we did show is some of the differences between flat packs and snaps, maybe why you choose one or the other. We actually compared uh, applications, the same ones, in a very unscientific way, but you got to see maybe some differences you might see up front. We showed how to install flat packs. We showed how to do it through the command line. Also uh, install and run an application through Flatpak for the command line. We also showed and installed GNOME Software Center and going to FlatHub on the website, clicking install from there. We also showed how to remove snaps. If you decide you want to remove yourself from snaps, it's there. I also showed that you can run snaps and Flatpaks at the same time and it's totally workable. I just think it might get a little messy if that's something that you wanna try and do. This was informational just so you can see what that's like. It's something that I don't have off the top of my head. I had to look at notes. So it's a very easily uh, searchable thing. If you want to search on your favorite search engine, flat pack install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, and you can also search for remove snap from Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. You saw that removing those pieces, you needed the command line as well, and you needed to make sure to remove all the pieces for it to work. I'm gonna take some more time in with Ubuntu 22.04 and see if I'm still interested in running through it. It is an extremely cool distribution. I like the idea of the long-term support for the operating system and then running flat packs or snaps with it. It seems cool that your operating system and your applications run on the same system but don't necessarily need each other in dependency sense. So I like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.